Ladies and guys who want to stick their sausage in a nice set of buns the first time they meet a girl. Andy here, author of the best Tinder guide on the internet, founder of Kill Your Inner Loser. This is the Inner Winner Show. Let's fucking go. So today we'll be talking about how to have sex with a girl on the first date. And the first thing I'm going to say is this is a numbers game. Not every girl that you meet is going to want to sleep with you on the first date. It doesn't matter how sick your game is, the, the moves you make how much you keynote and escalate and all that sort of crap. Some girls just won't be comfortable or won't want to have sex with you on the first date, no matter what you do. So that's your first tip. You aren't going to fuck every single girl that you meet on the first date. And that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. That's going to be the second tip here. Shoot your shot. Try with every girl. Try and have sex. Invite them back to your place. All of that stuff. If they don't want to, if they aren't fully comfortable, maybe they only want to fool around with you a little bit, maybe they don't even want to come back to your apartment the first time, as long as you've had a decent go of it and you've actually put in some effort and actually taken your shot and tried to make it happen, give yourself a pat on the back, be cool with the fact that not every girl is going to want to come back to your place, and then try again on the next date. Too many guys get caught up in this, like, it's almost like pickup artist bullshit of like, if you just say the right thing, you can sleep with any girl, even if she has a boyfriend, even if she's married. It's like, it doesn't work like that. People have their own desires and wants and principles and things that are important to them. Some women don't want to sleep with you on the first date. Maybe she's just not ready. Maybe she's not feeling the chemistry. Maybe she has a rule in her head that she would never sleep with a guy on the first date. Blah, blah, blah. So that's going to be your first tip. Try but just be okay with the fact that not every girl is going to want to sleep with you on the first day. As long as you're trying, that's good enough. As long as you take your shot. So what does that shot actually look like? What I recommend for most guys is go on a date, hang out for like an hour or two. Um, you can touch her a little bit if you want to. If you don't touch her, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Like I don't believe in this like keynote or escalation shit. I've tried both. There was a long period of time where I was like touching every girl. Like I'd try and kiss them. I'd hold their hand, like all that kind of stuff. Um, I got laid plenty doing that. Then there was a time, and this is where I'm at now, where I was like, I don't really need to do that shit. Like, I had fun trying it. I'm glad that I touched girls on dates and stuff like that and was like hands-on and, and touchy-feely and shit, but it's not really something I do anymore because I don't really need to. You don't need to. You don't have to kiss every girl that you're on a date with. You don't have to hold her hand. You don't have to do that shit. If you want to do that shit, go for it. It's not necessary. But pickup artists in particular have these ideas of like, if you just keno a girl and escalate enough, you can like win her over and she'll come back to your place. What I recommend doing is if you want to touch her, fine, that doesn't really matter. But hang out for an hour or two. After an hour or two, just say, yo, hey, I'm having a bunch of fun. Do you want to come back to my place and grab another drink? Or do you want to come back to my place and I'll show you my cool balcony? Do you want to come back to my place and watch a movie? Do you want to come back to my place? It doesn't really fucking matter what you say. It's kind of like she's smart enough to know if you're saying... Do you want to come back to my place and chill? Do you want to come back to my place and have a drink? Do you want to come back to my place and watch Netflix? She's smart enough to know that means, would you like to come and have sexual intercourse with me or fall around or something like that? So just throw that out there after an hour or two. Do you want to come back to my place and hang? She'll either say yes or no. If she says yes, cool. Take her back to your place, you know, hang out for five minutes and make a move on her. The rest is here. It doesn't really matter what move you make. Kiss her, touch her, whatever. Um, if she's back at your place, you're probably going to have sex. So you're at least going to fool around a little bit. If she says no, don't be that bothered about it, right? Like I said, not every girl is going to come back to your place. If she says no, hang out for another five or 10 minutes and then say, you know what? I might grab an early night. Um, I got shit to do. This was a lot of fun. Let's hang out again. Make it really clear that you want to see her again, that you're not butt hurt, that she doesn't want to come back to your place. And then just try again on the second date. So funnily enough, my advice for how to have sex on the first date is don't care so much if you don't have sex on the first date. Because funnily enough, the less like needy you come across, the more chilled you come across, the more likely girls are to, to just say like, do you know what? You seem really chill about this shit. Yeah, I'd like to come back to your place. But if you're kind of like needy and desperate and thinking like, oh my God, like I have to fuck her tonight. Otherwise I'm a failure. That can kind of come across a little bit. And it's kind of obvious that you're like desperate, I guess you would say. So be a little more chilled about it. Throw it out there. Hey, do you want to come back to my place? If she says no, like, who cares? At least you had your shot. Hang out with her for a little bit longer and then say, like, I might get an early night. This was fun. Let's do it again and then try on the next day. All you can ever do, really, is take a shot. If it works out, awesome. 
great, brilliant. If it doesn't work out, try again on the next day. If it doesn't work out on the second day, try again on the third day. More tips on how you can get laid in the first day. Obviously, improving your appearance. We'll just start with that. The better you look, the more likely girls are to be attracted to you, the more attracted they're going to be to you, the more they're going to have in their minds that like, this is obviously a guy that gets laid. Just in general, the hotter you look, the easier it is to have sex on the first day. So self-improvement has to be there. If you, if you don't know what that is, it's like, sorry, if you don't know what that looks like, it's, you know, losing weight, hitting the gym, wearing accessories, uh, rings, watches, necklaces, shit like that, uh, being as lean as you possibly can. So you got like a jawline, you got abs, stuff like that. Uh, grooming yourself, you know, keeping your beard nice and trimmed, shaving your hair, getting a haircut, whatever it is, stuff like that. Just, just basically looking like you give a shit. If it's on Tinder, having more sexual pictures helps. So my Tinder profile is like, I have BDSM pictures on there and shit. I have literally pictures of me holding a pair of handcuffs. I have a picture of me like shirtless with abs. It's a very sexual profile. And even in my description, I say, you know, I'm into BDSM, um, you know, looking for a girl who wants to be taught BDSM, basically. That's that's the gist of my bio. So it's a very sexual profile. Girls know if they're going to match with me, we're probably going to have sex. You don't have to go fully into BDSM. I'm not saying you have to have like a bunch of, you know, shirtless pictures of you, but the more like sexual you can make your profile or the more attractive, I guess you'd say, like sex appeal. The more you look like a guy with sex appeal, the easier it is to have sex with a guy on the first date, obviously. They're going to look at your profile and assume this guy gets laid a lot. He's probably not going to be like my fucking boyfriend. You, you can be a boyfriend, but she's not looking at you like this guy's only boyfriend material. She's like, this guy probably gets laid a lot. Yeah, I, I will have sex with him. So any girls that you match with when you have a more sexual profile, it's easier to have sex on the first day. When I had just like an, an average, like normal guy profile, most girls didn't want to fuck me on the first date. I would have to go on three, four, five dates, like a ton of times. The reason that I started doing like more sexual photos and, and tried the BDSM shit was I got sick of not having sex on the first date. Really annoyed me. I, I hated the feeling of going on a date, but having no idea if she was just going to turn me down when I asked her back to my place. So I started doing more sexual photos, like more edgy photos, more sex appeal photos. And then I moved into like BDSM photos. So having more sexual pro, uh, pictures, absolutely makes a fucking difference here. It's, it's so much easier to have sex with a girl if you look like you have sex appeal. If we're talking about you talking to girls in person, like cold approach or day game, you know, walking up to girls on the street and hitting on them, the more sexual you can look or the more attractive, the more sex appeal, just looking like a guy who has his shit together, the easier it is to sleep with them on the first date. Uh, in terms of like self-improvement and stuff like that, Again, that should be your focus. If you have no idea where to start, go on my forums. There's a bunch of guys on there that can give you advice. Hit me up for coaching if you want help with that. I'm happy to jump in there, give you self-improvement advice, uh, show you how to lose weight, all that kind of stuff. I'll leave links in the description below to that. But let's summarize here. You're not going to have sex with every girl on the first date. That's not possible. I would never tell you that. That'd be a fucking complete lie. Unless you're willing to get to the point that I'm at where all of my uh, photos of BDSM, uh, I tell girls beforehand, like we're meeting for sex. So yes, I have sex with every girl on the first date, but that's only because I got to the point where I'm using like BDSM photos and, and very sexual photos. So if you want to do that, sure, go for it. Fine. If you're not going to do that, then you're not going to have sex with every girl on the first date. So first thing, you're probably not going to have sex with every single girl on the first date. That's fine. Second thing, shoot your shot. Yeah. Hang out for an hour and then say, Hey, do you want to come back to my place? Or, Hey, I'm having a bunch of fun. Let's go back to my apartment and have another drink. Or, you know, I'm really enjoying hanging out with you. Come back to my place. We'll put on a movie or something. I want to keep hanging out with you. Like, like that's all you have to do. If she says no, cool. At least you took your shot. You know, if she says yes, awesome. Some girls will be, I should have said some girls will be kind of on the fence. They'll be like, um, maybe if that's the case just say like do you want to hang out for a bit first and and then we'll see how you feel most girls will be like yeah like can we do that can we hang out for another half hour and then you know you hang out for half hour ask her again most of the time if you do that the second time you ask her she'll be like yeah sure okay let's go like some girls just aren't fully comfortable yet um it's almost like they want to hang out with you a little bit longer so they can give themselves permission to come back with you they don't want to be like too easy um not that there's anything wrong with that, but a lot of girls, you know, just don't want to feel easy. So second thing is, yeah, shoot your shot, invite her back to your place after an hour, after two hours, whatever it is, 
I recommend like not hanging out. I wouldn't have a, like a four hour date or something. I think at that point, you're just wasting both of your time. She either wants to come back to your apartment or she doesn't. If she doesn't, fine, you know, end the date, see her again, try again on the next date. And the third thing is obviously self-improvement. Taking a better pictures, improving your looks, looking as good as you possibly can, having the best pictures you can, uh, having more sex appeal, like getting that across either in your pictures or just your style if you're going to talk to girls in person. And yeah, like improve yourself, max yourself out as much as you possibly can. Like I said, if you want help with that, go on my forums or hit me up for coaching. There's a link in the description below. And then as always, guys, go and crush your goals.